Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Lucky Dog Podcast. This is your host, Elias Roush. Today with me is... Kelly! And what do we have today now? Am I allowed to say it, or do we gotta wait for you to say it? No, I'm gonna let you introduce it. Okay. <laughs> what was it? The Did you say season finale? Season finale wrap-up of Evil Geniuses? Right. Episode 4. Episode 4. So, you already know what's coming. <laughs> what were your impressions? <laughs> what were your impressions <laughs> coming fresh, fresh out? Oh, God. It tickles. Stop. Fresh out the theater or out of the... Uh, just yeah, sure. Theater. Yep. Um, it was a Fresh good. Off it, the show. It, it was a good. Uh, what is it? Uh, a series, a true crime drama, and and I guess mini what series. You would, would you call it? Yeah. It was a docu good docu series. It was a good mini series. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd tell other people to watch it. Right. So you recommend it? Yeah. Was it a satisfying ending? Yeah. It was. I thought it was. Did you think it was? Okay. okay. Better. Think it could have been better. No. <clears throat> um. Not necessarily better. Um. It definitely had several different takes. It felt like it had several different endings. They're like, we'll never know if uh, Mr. Wells, Brian Wells, is like involved on the heist, and then they'd be like, actually, we do know. Actually, we don't know. Actually, we do know. Actually, the prostitute knows. Mm-hmm. It felt like I was like okay. I felt like I was getting drugged around a little bit. Um, like here comes this person. Now this person's here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of small bits that led up to Brian Wells. Um, I I would say did did we find out uh, without a doubt that he was not involved because the prostitute. Yeah, yeah. I think I think her um, what it, was it? Her confession, pretty much. Got him off of the hook, although he's dead. It doesn't really matter. Like, it just, um. Well, it's for his family. It just, it's for his well, family. yeah, it's, you know, closure for his family, I'm sure. Um. Did we find out in, without a doubt, that Brian was not involved in the heist? Yes, we did. Okay, so do you think that the confession that the prostitute, uh, uh Jessica Hopskin, what was her name? Jessica Hobbendale? Ho- Hob- Hopsick. Hollywood? No. Holland. Hopsick. Uh, Hollandale. Hoop, hoopsick. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Jessica, the prostitute. Right. Just call her the prostitute because that's what the fuck she is. Okay, okay. Jeez. Um, just call her Jessica. Not, there's not another Jessica in the show. Okay. Um, I think it was hoopsick. Okay. Well. I don't fucking know. I thought that we were going to get stood up by her for like the third um, time. So she got put in. She was in the same kind of. She was in the same jail. As Marjorie. Right. And I think it was for something much more it minor. Not, it was. It was a drug charge. Right. So what was Marjorie in there for? It had... I mean, she got convicted of the heist stuff. She she was the only one that actually was convicted. But it wasn't... A, she was not yet convicted of, like, accessory to murder or anything like that, right? Uh, no one... Or kidnapping. No, no one was... Okay, yeah. I don't well, know. hell, almost everyone else had died. I yeah, I don't know if anyone had gotten uh, kidnapping. I think that they had definitely gotten the heist, though. Yeah. And masterminding it. So, yeah, she is freaking crazy. Marjorie? Yeah. She's the craziest, one of the craziest individuals uh, that I've ever seen on a docuseries ever. Yeah. Um. Like, even from Stephen Avery's case oh i like the uh making a murderer do you remember that uh yeah what was but what, hold on what was that one show that you and i watched i didn't get to watch all of it about the guy who um the like, jinx yeah 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 the, let's not spoil that but okay. uh the i think the jinx was probably my my favorite docuseries I've ever i seen. couldn't really get into um making a murderer why i think i watched it and finished it and i just didn't like it i just i don't know it was much more courtroom drama based. It was longer than this, right? About twice as, uh, three times as long. Okay, that's why. Because it still felt to me like the cops on that show were being just as fucking stupid and drawing everything out as they were on this one. 
Well, do you remember actually toward around episode eight or so that we started to find out that the cops were pretty corrupt? Yeah. That were, that were trying to plant, it seemed like they were trying to plant evidence on Avery's, um... But why, though? I wonder why they would... I know we don't need to talk an, about that show. He but. was an easy plant. But we probably... Would. Well, hell, that's like the cops on this show. Just fucking withhold, withholding evidence and statements and the, um... What'd they call them? They didn't... Fuck. Uh... What are those women? What were they calling those women who were writing the letters? Snitch letters. Snitch letters, letters yeah. like withholding those, not sending them in when they should have. Right. So I, I, I totally get what you're, um, what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I would say. It does. It it it's scary how incompetence. Will. Affect a case. Yeah. Like it's uh. It's some real stuff. Like it could. Oh, uh, I have. It, I mean, it, could, it could be someone's life. It could be someone's <clears throat> seven years or twenty-five years or, or twenty-seven years or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think if the cops had obviously, I mean, they said it on the show. If the cops had turned in those letters, Marjorie probably would have. Like, I think everything would have been looked at closer, way sooner than it had been. If Marjorie would have turned in those. No, if the cops would have oh, turned in those letters, the snitch okay. letters. Yeah, it probably would have saved a few months. And to me, it was strange that after however many years, he said it had been 10 years after the heist, he was still talking to Marjorie. Right. That would seem odd to me, too. Like, what are you doing? Like, what? (laughs) In my mind, I'm not, like, siding with Marjorie, but I would have been like, dude, I'm fucking done talking to you. Like, I'm in here. I'm not fucking getting out. Fuck out of here. This shit's old. She's like... The story is old news. The fucker's dead. Y'all don't. Y'all ain't gonna find out how or who or why I made the bomb. Fuck out of here. <laughs> if I was Marjorie, but I don't know. I don't. I guess Marjorie, in her mind, she thought like if I can, can, like however long she thought she was gonna like draw out that she was innocent and hadn't done anything. I think in her crazy ass mind, she thought like if I do this for another two or three years, if I keep doing this, they'll let me out. They'll think I'm innocent. I don't know. I don't know. I, I I thought she had got enough time. Include she got the, didn't she get the death of like James Roden, her original boyfriend, at the beginning of this? You would have thought so. I mean, um, I thought I thought that was pinned on her. Like she was found. But she, she admitted to she it. She admitted it. Yeah. While she was in, hold on. What was she doing when she admitted to that? I think she was in. She men, was in. She was in the mental institution or, or mm-hmm. the, the prison. I think it was a prison. So she was already in jail for whatever reason. And she admitted. It. She admitted to killing him. How yeah. the. F- she never got out, right? Right. Okay. So, um, yeah, that was a uh, pretty uh, in- insane. Just the way the events unfolded throughout each episode, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was really well laid out. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd I s- watch it. I'd watch it again, like with my dad. If he starts watching it, I'll probably watch it again. Yeah, like like rewatching it with you did not feel like a uh, a chore. Yeah, I I felt like I was looking back over the case notes and looking at how we got there again. So it has rewatchability. Yeah. Um, unlike making a murder and like the Jinx, I think this has easier rewatchability. I don't think I finished the Jinx with you. I don't think I watched a few episodes and then I didn't. No, I did. I remember you and I finishing it, but I didn't start it with you. I freaking blows you out of the water at the end of that. that Him talking to yeah, himself. Yeah, but we. I don't want to talk. Too yeah, much sorry, about it. Uh, sorry. Don't um, want to spoil it. That's not. That's not too much of a spoiler, but still, isn't it crazy? Shit like that is what I wish we would have had on here, like her talking to herself in her cell, or a recorded phone call between her and someone while she was in jail. It was very limited to action. Yeah. You know, at the end they had the they had the full recording of Jessica's. Um, confession. She was out of jail. Just, you being in jail has nothing to do with them recording you. Well, she was being recorded. It was just like through over a uh, television. Who? When she was talking to, I think that was her lawyer or a lawyer. I think that was her lawyer. Talking about Marjorie? Yeah. She did the video conference. When she was doing the video, was that her lawyer? That was her lawyer. That was her lawyer, yeah. So, and the guy, and the guy who was doing the documentary thing. Yeah. But still, like it, I mean, like when she 
there's no reason why they can't record her when she doesn't know she's fucking being recorded. It's not fucking illegal to do that in a, in a state prison or whatever fucking kind of prison she was in. Yeah, I'm sure. It's not illegal to record them. As long as you're not recording them while they're changing or pissing or showering, you can record them while they're on the phone or just sitting in their cell. As long as it's just voice recording. I'm not saying there's not footage. Or I'm saying that would have been recording. great for the show, I thought. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm not saying that that footage doesn't exist. It's just that it wasn't there for whatever reason. I would have liked to have heard some of it. Because you know that those fuckers sound crazy as fuck talking to themselves. Well, there was... It's intriguing. Well, we had all the... We had a lot of audio. I know, but I felt like it was just her talking bullshit the whole time. Well, what, what else is it? What, what else? What... what like I just Would said. that be different than like a tel- telephone call? I mean, we did hear telephone calls when every time there was a tape on screen, and it was yeah, but that was a telephone call. Her talking to him though. All we got to hear of Marjorie. Oh, you're talking about her talking to someone else. Yeah, like her talking to someone who she's confining in, confining. However you fucking say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. But like, she's not to him. She has to maintain that I'm innocent. Yeah, you per, know, act yeah, because she knows that he's making a documentary. Yeah. As much as we saw her childhood best friend on screen, we could. Why didn't we hear a fucking conversation between them two? That would have been. That's the kind of shit I'm saying. Would have been cool for the show. Would have been. Would have been cool nice. to hear. I don't know what she would have said between them, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, the going back and rewatching, I think I rewatched the first, second, and fourth episode. I didn't watch re- three though. Rewatch three. Mm-hmm. Well, sort I sort of rewatched three. You watched rewatched like a little bit of the beginning, not a lot of it. But um, rewatching two when Rothstein passes, um, I think he passes at the end of. Two. End of two, beginning of three. <clears throat> I don't remember. What did he die from? Uh, he had cancer or something like that. Or lymphoma or something. Is it? I don't know. Um, he had, like, I don't know, kidney thing? No, no. I remember seeing the name of it. I don't know. It showed whatever he had. And they were talking about he probably knew that he had it. Yeah. He probably knew he was dying for a long time. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I wish there was more photos and just a little bit more surrounding him after he was out of jail. Oh, like pictures of him after he was out of jail? Just like any interaction. I mean, I How long did he get in jail? How long was he in jail? I didn't see... Was there... I, did he get convicted of anything? I don't remember. I don't... Well, it felt like whatever time he did, he was out within like months maybe. I don't remember and it probably was because I just wasn't paying attention but I don't remember them talking about his convictions. I don't think he got convicted of anything. How could he not? He died. No I mean he didn't die before he could have gotten convicted of well, like accessory a, to murder or. He, I think that the trial was still going on with uh, but he should James have, He should have been in jail for that. Yeah. I would have said this. I would have said so. Maybe I think it was maybe his lawyer set something up. I know he didn't have immunity, Mm-mm. but um, yeah, small things like that was are worth just going back and looking. It's like you can only retain so much information from a documentary like that, and you just start to gather the big picture things like who's innocent, who's not, who's good, who's. Uh, I knew Marjorie was fucking insane from the beginning of the show. I mean, because they just make her out that way, you know. Yeah, she like makes a big list of things. Like, she's like, I am not no mastermind that created a bank heist to get money for my hitman to pay off to kill my dad or something. You know, yeah. Pay off a hitman to kill my dad. I think. Uh, and I was like, that's exactly what you are. I think that they should have been. I feel like the cops played so fuck. They played dumb, dude. The entire fucking show, because whenever they first started like talking to Bill Rothstein. Mm-hmm. And they found the fucking list of things that he was, like, reminding himself. And the first thing it was, this has nothing to do with the Wells case. Why the fuck would you even write that down? Right. If you don't know anything about it, other than what you saw on the news. The fact that it happened, I don't know, a couple hundred yards Practically at the end of his fucking long-ass gravel driveway. Right. This, I don't know. The fact that Rothstein thought he was so smart just... And he decided to put that. He was like, oh, well, they'll never get this clue. Never get this one. <laughs> I don't know. 
like I said at the, on the last one too, as soon as if I would have walked in that room, he'd be like, just so you know, I'm the smartest one in this room. I'd have been like, well, good for you, bitch. <laughs> I thought it would you would have said that or slapped him. I don't know. I'm like, well, good for you. You're going to die oh, in a cell. No, oh, my God. <laughs> You're going to die in a jail cell, bitch. Well, he, he, <laughs> With your smart ass. He didn't. <laughs> no, did. I know he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> but it still would have felt good. He outsmarted you. It would have felt good to say it. He outsmarted you. <laughs> You're not smart, me. You yeah, smarted somebody. Old motherfucker. Well, going back and looking at the tapes of him. Yeah. Could you tell that he was lying? I he thought. I mean, I just thought hands. you could fucking tell he was lying from the get go because he, he said like, so much. Um. I don't know. He just it, to me he seemed like he contradicted himself a shit ton. Mm. Whenever we watched the first interview with him and the cops. With. Which, uh, with what? When he's sitting at the table in his fucking overalls with his pens and pads and shit in his little pockets. Mm-hmm. And, um... <laughs> pens and pads and shits. <laughs> in his little front overall pockets. Um... Knickknacks. Well, he was just, he was, like, acting like he was just there to... Like, I'm gonna help you guys get to the bottom of this because I'm the smartest one in this room. Well, what exactly did Marjorie say to you? I don't know. No. Like, what the fuck, <laughs> man? <You> fuck <laughs> out of here. I don't well, remember. I don't know exactly. I don't know. I'm sorry, but I think if, if a bitch walked up to me and was like, hey, girl, I got this body in this house. I need you to help me get it. I would remember every fucking word from that second on. I'm pretty sure I fucking would remember to be able to remember to remember all of that shit. Because that's fucking serious. Yeah. Like that's not like... Real shit. Oh, I need you to help me build a deck on my back porch. What all, <laughs> what all equipment did y'all use? Hell, I don't know. That's not the same fucking thing. Like, they... <laughs> he's he's the one trying to fucking get them to convict Marjorie and shit. He really is throwing her under the bus. He's throwing her under the bus, and they're like, well, well what, what did she say? Hell, I don't know. Uh, but... <laughs> it was like... I went off rambling there for a minute. No, no, no. You really <laughs> I did. felt it. No, you, you did a good job. You did a good job. But still. No. I mean, I just thought from then that he was just full of shit. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I could maybe go... Hindsight is obviously twenty twenty. so going back, looking back at what he was saying, it really looks like he was lying on his ass. Mm-hmm. Um, bum- bumbling his hands all over the place kind of trying to feed the story you know you guys we guys (laughs) don't look at me don't look at this hand what i'm doing the other hand you know um yeah uh rusting was smart but he couldn't cover his tracks and just like his friend said he was not a finisher no and small things that gave away his tracks such as him being at the crime scene uh when the cops were there so you know he wasn't exactly on top of his a game you know writing with his hand you know some of the letters and uh you know the the arrows that matched what oh yeah matched like the not instructions. not changing his handwriting and or not having someone else do it. Yeah. Um, going into too many words. He, he was extremely wordy in his details. Like, it, it, he he fit the profile of everything that they had predicted on the news. Uh, and the FBI had come up with. You know, handyman. Extreme, highly intelligent. Kind of creepy. Yeah. The fucking van. The van. Yeah, yeah, the van. Uh, <laughs> Fucking dead giveaway. Yeah. So and they just sat on it. Yeah, they they, they had several exhausted. several times that they had evidence within the case that they could have come to within quicker, uh, to a quicker response if they would have had the evidence and access to it. If just two departments would have talked to each other. Mm-hmm. It's scary how often that happens. You know, it probably happens more than. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, More than actual, you know, good communication happens. Podcasts I've been listening to, uh, some of the true crime, just is, it's very scary how some of this just gets slipped right under the cop's nose mm-hmm. of the investigators, and they just don't, they don't, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Don't get their 
man. How, how we haven't really had because wasn't they talking about that like at the beginning of all of that kind of shit they didn't have DNA and testing and stuff like that? Mm, they definitely had testing. Uh, I thought he said that they not to the degree we have today. Okay. Well, even to they, the degree that we have that, it today. They said they don't have any. They didn't. It's have any still DNA. not used the way it should be. Right. 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 And uh, and. Hell, in 50 years, we're going to look back on what we're doing today and be like, what the hell were they thinking? <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's highly unsanitary using all of those hand dryers. Oh, my God. <laughs> By the way, don't use hand dryers, everyone. I've really been looking into those, and you don't want to be using those. They recycle just terrible things that are just floating in the bathrooms, and they warm it up. And slather it right onto your hands. So you're gonna want to wipe your hands it's on air. your jeans. You know it's air, or right? It's just air coming out of a vent. Bacteria, ass air. How do you know that the air is being brought? Like it's recycled. It's recycled. What do you mean? Within the thing, like so, like think of anything. <coughs> Anything uh, that think of a, think of any of the vents that you've seen in a bathroom and tell me where there is a vent that sucks air into it. Because every hand dryer I've ever seen, there's only the vent that's pushing the air out. No, they got tiny little holes that, and in the back, you can you can check it out. Look it on. Look it up online, and look up how nasty hand dryers are. I'm just giving everyone fair warning. Yeah. I'm not making things up. Okay. I am, you know. I'm just saying, it's just like another little, like, fucking conspiracy theory to It's me. not a conspiracy <laughs> it's theory. It's a fucking, it's no. someone who got fucking paranoid or pissed off about something one day and was like, what can I fuck up for everybody? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just glad we know now, you know? Yeah. I would rather know than not know and let's get freaking poo particles on your hand and then your lab. I see people getting their hands. How do you think shit particles are being sucked face? into that when you're shitting into water and it's going down? down a drain okay so i know it's crazy to think about but when also for one all right this okay is hold on let's, highly let's, off topic no i know let's make it clear which bathroom this is probably a problem in <laughs> not a women's bathroom oh my god we're not pissing in the floor okay we don't need that description grabbing our we don't dicks need, and we then don't touching have... faucets this... we're not doing that okay Women in our ba- our bathrooms are fucking clean. We are supposed to be talking about <laughs> evil geniuses. I think that, you, know, you got us off of top. I'm just trying to keep the world clean. In the men's bathroom. In any bathroom that has hand dryers. No, if y'all just don't if y'all use would them. if you, okay men if you would just be a tiny All bit right, cleaner this and is, quit being such filthy oh fucking my, people. Oh my god! It wouldn't be a problem. Can somebody. <laughs> I'm just saying, She's you know. using this as a pedestal. Uh, no. To get okay, so what, do you think it's better? Do you think it's any better when you are somewhere, like at a dentist's office or a doctor's office, and you touch the top of the pump of a, a hand sanitizer bottle? No, I don't think it's okay. better, but use the back of your hand. It's still your fucking skin, bud. Still microorganisms spreading like fucking wildfire. It don't matter. <laughs> Just so like, far off topic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really wish that Bill wouldn't have fucking died. I wish he would have. I, I hate that he fucking died and who else died. Didn't someone else die? The other pizza guy. When he died way before anything important happened, right? Right. Well, he died the weekend of, or like the, the next weekend of the pizza. Uh, bomber. Bomber. <laughs> Throwing pizzas at each other and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, I just, I wish that Bill would have lived because I would have liked to have saw, like... Well, first of all, it's it's terrible. It's a it's a loss that we lost somebody like that way. It's, you know, someone that was innocent. He fucking killed someone. He was not innocent. Bill? Oh, not Bill. I was talking about, uh, what's his face? Brian. Brian, sorry. No, I'm not talking about Brian. Sorry. No. <laughs> Fuck Bill. Yeah, Bill, I, but I still wish he would have. Bill took someone's life. Mm-hmm. When he could have just made that a fake bomb. Yeah, and apparently that's what they had discussed. Mm-hmm. Do you believe uh, cocaine Ken Brian or whatever? Cocaine Ken. Cocaine Ken. Do you believe him that he thought it was going to be a fake bomb? 
Mm-mm. I don't either. I had no idea. We we've we saw interviews with him at the very first two episodes, and I didn't realize how imperative he was going to be to the plot. Yeah. I mean, unless unless everyone did think it was, unless everyone except for Bill did think it was going to be fake. Mar- Marjorie knew. Marjorie probably knew, but maybe. Um, she knew there had to be two timers in there. If it was going to be fake, why not just have one? If it was going to be fake, why have anything in it at all? Why not strap a box to this motherfucker and let him lie? And be like, bitch, this is a bomb! And it'd be like a fucking <laughs> cardboard box full of Capri Suns. Like, it could have been any fucking it was thing. crazy how... If someone comes up to me with a tiny little thing in their hand, like, this is a bomb. I'm like, take it. Whatever you need. Take all that shit. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> Brian was remarkably calm with a bomb on his, around his neck. I think because he probably i mean at that point he probably they all had their fucking guns on him was another thing i do think his family has every fucking right to be like fuck y'all fuck your like you know y'all police and justice system whatever y'all fucking cut his head off to get that damn like remember they said something about they had more what what terms did they use um humane they just took like better care of the device than they did the person oh I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that 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 like struck me hard. I was like, "Damn, fuck, fuck y'all." <laughs> I felt like there was better ways they could have got that device off without removing his head. Yeah, there was. Like a chainsaw thing, like yeah. a mini saw. You don't even need a fucking chainsaw. Like a mini. Chainsaw? You just get some shit that's fucking strong enough to cut it and fucking cut it. Who gives a fuck if you fuck it up? It was it, it it was crazy, it, and uh, that I would have found that def- family. This, I would have definitely looked into suing those fuckers. This is hard for the family. This is yeah, this is really because hard. there's no reason. Nothing should come down to, or nothing should be a hard um, decision when it comes down to, do we fuck up the evidence or do we cut this man's head off? I think we should probably go with cutting his head off. We really don't want to fuck up the evidence. What? That's not... that. That's not fucking smart. Mm. That was not smart thinking on anyone's fucking part. No matter how bad you think the crime needs to be solved. I just don't know what were the evidence, why why they thought that would mess it up. I, I don't, it must have been a hell of a clamp. I think they talked about what kind of metal or whatever it was and that there was like almost like... Nothing that could open it. Yeah. That is insane. But you get fucking specialists, dude. There's someone on the fucking bomb squad probably could have cut that shit off in some fucking way. They had the bomb squad there. I I mean, I'm not going to argue with what they did. I'm sure they literally did try a a numerous amount of ways. And it's unfortunate the way they went went down. But um, the one thing that this series really does shine a light on is... Well, in comparison to the Jinx making a murder and uh, evil genius, the Jinx is really solely talking about one individual. Yeah. Um, in his crazy journey. Um. And making a murderer has, was more about, I'd say, false, false, the falsely accused. Cops, falsely, like oh, cops oh, planting I, 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 I don't, I, I, I don't. Sorry, I, sorry. Well, then quit talking about it. Yeah. Um, if people haven't watched it by now, don't watch it. It's not that great. I liked it. I really liked it. That, I would have said that was my top four um, of true crimes, not like of anything I've ever seen. Um, but, okay, so that was like the falsely accused, debatably. Yeah. Um. And Evil Genius was about the masterminds of the evil masterminds that created a heist. You know, it was a multi plan scheme that has another layer of a twist that has someone else that was forced into doing the heist. Mm-hmm. So that's a very multi dimensional way of, uh, I don't know the way that everything was planned out. the The way that thinking about it, I feel like it could almost be an entire ten episode series. You know, 
Yeah. Uh, I think it definitely could have been longer. Saying a heist. But, I mean, how many times do we see the same media, the same footage, the same, uh, you know, individuals with their faces, with audio in the background that was just talking about, you know, what was going on? Yeah. Um, Countless, right? Yeah, a lot. I don't know. I can't tell you how many times we saw Bill Roth. They didn't. They didn't have much of Bill Rothstein, so they played like the same, the same photos. Just cut the sound. Yeah. Same yeah. videos, just cut the sound. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I, I noticed that a little bit. Would. Anything? I think they had more like they had a wider variety of photos for Bill Rothstein like throughout his life than they did for Marjorie. They had a decent amount of. Oh, you think they maybe maybe not maybe they had the same I don't know. It was kind of close to the same. I don't know. Maybe they had more of throughout Bill Rossing's life and not so much of recent. And then they had a lot of recent of Marjorie and not so much of her growing up. Yeah. Um. Oh, you know what I was going to say was the uh, the father, Marjorie's father. I was just thinking about him. I was like, I've, I was heartbroken. Why? Just thinking that as, like, as a father. Like I, say, they, I mean, when, he has a lot to do with her upbringing and how she ended up. Um, I know, and what it sounds like that they had a great relationship when, whenever he was there. It sounds like that he might not have been. He wasn't mm-hmm. there as. Not really. They only the only reason they did is because he spoiled her. Well, I don't know. They talked about going fishing and hanging out and saying that every, you know she used to be a really smart individual and top of her class, and uh, now she's at the point where she's written out of the will and wants to kill her father mm-hmm. and he seems like a genuine guy that just wants to help his family and his community yeah and it, that's what makes it even worse because he's a genuine guy you know I wouldn't care as much if he was a you know douchebag yeah but, like he's a good guy and she wants him dead for the well uh, she's she's like, crazy she's, it's insane right I mean it's seriously insane. So, yeah, and if she if she is critically, mentally, whatever, insane, um, I also feel another layer of guilt. Like I'm judging pretty hard on this person. Um, yes, she's done terrible things, and people like like that one judge said, you know, people have had your condition and not done done yeah. terrible things. Um, so I don't feel bad for judging her. Yeah, but it's like if you if you got your chemicals mixed up and stuff like that in your brain, it's just you're not thinking straight. And it's I'm sure it's not the same as you know. You ever tweeted something, you know, uh, or or posted something on, on Facebook, and then maybe an hour or two later, been like, oh, I'm just gonna delete that, you know? Oh yeah. It's like, why do we decide that? Because we weren't the same person. We're not the same. We've thought about it long enough to say. Not that you're not the same person. That not, it, not, I wouldn't. There's a comment. I left someone today that I had to go first. I edited it. And then I went <laughs> and I deleted it. And it's not because I'm not the person that wrote it or thought it. Right. But it's not. It's not right for me. It's not. They shouldn't have to see it. You know what I mean? I, I was like, you stupid motherfucker. Oh, and wow. Then, <laughs> okay. It was about, you know, the incident oh, okay. yeah, that yeah, just yeah. happened. Yeah, okay. And so. someone was just commenting on it. And I was like, you're fucking stupid. You're a stupid motherfucker. And then I was like, this ain't going to change the way this person thinks or, you know. Right. So I was like, eh, doesn't matter. All just right. deleted it. Not because I don't really think that. Right. Well, well, it's like, isn't it a weird thing that we do decide to change it, though? Because there is something in our mind that made us decide that. You know, at one point we were like, "Yeah, let's do it. Check, I'm I'm doing it." And then, within moments later, or you know, hours later, depending on how you're looking at it, yeah, you're like, "No, not anymore." I don't think it's because it's not. It has nothing to do with that. You're not the same person. Well, maybe you've learned more in the ten, ten minutes, the ten hours, the ten weeks, the ten years. I look at it as the person that I'm saying it to is not going to change their mind because of what I said. Well, yeah. So they don't need to know what I think. I think is it possible to, that you could have changed though? No. So if you people don't change their minds because of what other people think. Mm. No. 
You can't change other people's minds. People might change their minds listening to this. Based on what we're thinking. You know, I think you usually I think you just hear what other people think and you put it into consideration, but it doesn't necessarily change how you view something. Uh, it could. I mean, okay. If I told you in Hannibal to always look out for Hannibal Red because it means Hannibal's about to kill somebody, you'd be like <laughs> You'd be, you'd would be make at me the, look for something. You'd be looking for the red in the show. Yeah, that's and not, it is not. I don't think that's what I'm talking about. That's not the kind of things I'm talking about. Well, I mean, that's that's a physical thing. That's that's an actual thing. You yeah. Know? That's one, one <laughs> off thing. topic again. Yeah, <laughs> way off topic. But, um. Anyways, back to it. Any last words for? The Evil Genius I feel like, Podcast. I feel like we're skipping people. Well, we had uh, Cocaine Ken. We the had roommate. Marjorie. The, what was his name? Floyd Rapist Face. <laughs> pedophile. Pedophile Face. Yeah, Pedophile Face. Um, yeah. Uh, so that I was kind of. Uh, I kind of don't really remember a whole lot of his role in this. Uh, he was not involved in like the first three. Uh, episodes really at all i honestly thought he he was was, talked to there right they um, talked to him and then didn't have anything to hold on or anything like that. it was a lot of dead ends well there was many dead ends within the whole series and i think he was one of them the prostitute was another one um he ended up getting immunity and just served his time on the the rape that he did um and now he's married he had to turn marjorie in there right didn't he have to like tell them what he knew of Marjorie um what she had to do with it he gave up yeah he gave like a, another scenario of what happened at the uh the site yeah when they put the uh collar around the guy's uh, around Brian's neck yeah um I think that's pretty much what he gave up hmm. but that was crazy I had no idea that he was involved yeah um and I can't believe Rostin was holding that guy at the house. What do you mean? Knowing that he did that shit. It's terrible. Oh, you mean had him as a roommate? Yeah. Freaking terrible. I mean, that right there should have told someone something about Rothstein. Yeah, that is that is awful. Um, he has no morals. No scruples. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyways. Anyways... Look at the prostitute. Yeah. Um, Jesse Hopkins. Hopkins skin. Skr. What? Bisson skin. Skr. I went to school with a kid named Jesse Hopkins. Oh, goodness. Well, I don't know why we need to announce them on here. but I don't know why you needed to say the name when that's not her name. Her name's Jessica. Jessica. Jesse. Hoopsick. Jackson, hoops and son. Hoopsick. Son singer. <laughs> okay. Mensinger. Okay. Mensinger. Anyway, Jackson. yeah, we talked about her, her bitch ass going to jail. Right. Um. I was surprised that she was not convicted of anything after saying that she was responsible of giving. Probably was. She was give. She told. She told the uh, what's her face. Well. She told the confession in the back of the van with uh, the producer. You know. Mm-hmm. And why was she not convicted after she did that? Was that like because she can't get double jeopardy or something like that? I mean, she was yeah. never on trial for anything. Um, but she gave the number to Cocaine Ken, Ken. and that's how they got in touch with. I mean, what Brian. do they what do they charge her with? She wasn't there okay, when well, they took. But in. she knew about the bank heist, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like withholding withholding information. information maybe? Yeah. I mean information. <laughs> they did question her. I kind of I remember that. No, 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 no. Didn't they question? She was in court for some reason. She was at the courthouse. She was, she was in court. And he tried to talk to her and um she went, she walked she away. She no, first she agreed to an, an interview and then she did show up. Right, and she basically stood them up like half of her clients. 
I'm just kidding. I don't know. She she's probably not. No, yeah, she's a whore. <laughs> not anymore. She still got. <laughs> it's your watch telling you to go to bed. She's still got what Brian's baby. Mm-hmm. So I, it's kind of a good ending, but shouldn't Brian's baby be with Brian's family? She no, no. She she probably didn't like admit to them that that was Brian's baby until he talked to her. And we don't know what's going on. That's not part. That's not like necessary to, for us to know. That's not part of the thing. I know that's probably evil genius too, or something like that. Baby geniuses. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's probably not that. <laughs> um, I don't. I I could not stand hearing his brother talk on that press conference because he said the same thing twice, and it pissed me off. <laughs> when his brother was like, "What did he oh say?" My. Brian did not put that around his neck. And then he said it again. Oh. And it's like, a uh, no shit. Well, <laughs> I, I, that guy has to be incredibly frustrated. And I would never of course. want to, like, have to be in that position. So, all I gotta say is, it's always been, it's been another one. Mm-hmm. This is probably the jinx for Netflix, which I would say is pretty prestigious. Yeah. The Jinx was like life-changing television. Um, This is up there, but for Netflix. I'm not saying this is not life-changing, but it's uh, definitely got a cinematic quality to it and, you know, a a bingeable aspect that just makes you want to... Too short not to binge it. Yeah, I mean, I was fighting. I actually was just like, fuck I gotta stop you know every time I was like binging it I, I honestly went back and rewatched a couple episodes before going to like the next one you know like I've watched the first two watched a little bit of the third then went back and watched the first again yeah before watching the fourth so it was I was a little bit all over the place but I still enjoyed it nonetheless yeah um how about you I liked it I'd watch it again yeah I mean not like today or tomorrow but I would you know later on if I'm sitting around I don't like watching I don't like finding new shit to watch I I don't know why I'd it's rather di- watch shit that I've already diffi- watched it's difficult isn't it yeah it's like trying a new meal you know you don't know if you're gonna like it you got all the weird seasonings and stuff like that and sometimes they give you a side of slop or a slide of yeah you never know sometimes it's dank I like watching I like rewatching stuff this was like getting an order of sushi that is like the dankest sushi you've ever had from the specials menu. Yeah. You know. Like they have specials menu. I don't know if they got specials at you know, your, your sushi places. So <clears throat> Kelly, thank you for joining me. Please join us at our other podcast we have. We got what do we have? We got Hannibal. We just finished humans not too long ago. We just uh recorded Deadpool. We've done some Downton Abbey um, Avengers. You've done Avengers. Been working on Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You have. I don't watch it. Just did a little bit of Donald Glover SNL special. What else do we have? Um, anything? Just did One Punch Man. That was that was really interesting and hilarious. We're finishing Hannibal tonight. Um, or we're finishing the show. We yeah, we're gonna podcast yeah, tonight. We're not gonna podcast tonight, but we're gonna finish Hannibal and close out the books to another well we're not going to say whether it was a uh, good or bad but it's been another one Hannibal yes yeah uh you have to join the podcast to really find out what our impressions are so anyways thank you for listening rate share subscribe lucky dog podcast email us the Lucky Dog Podcast at gmail.com. Twitter us at Lucky Dog Podcast. Find us on Facebook. SoundCloud. Oh, you've already said Facebook. Never mind. Facebook, SoundCloud, YouTube, Twitter.
Twitter. ITunes. All the Keys all the iTunes. iTunes. All the popular ones. Yeah. Like you always say. Uh, uh, yeah. Say it right every time. Say it the same way every fucking time. It's not that hard. <laughs> and on that note, thank you. <laughs> There's a woman that you might want to question. He's the one that did it. I mean, they're co conspirators. There was a lot of tips coming in, but no smoking gun. We didn't have DNA, fingerprints. The bomb had wires that didn't mean anything to prevent the bomb squad from tampering with it. Do you make the bomb? No. Liar. It's a bank robbery, but it's a scavenger hunt. Guy has a cane gun, and it was actually loaded. Who put this in motion? I did nothing. Who actually said, hey, let's rob a bank? She laughed about it. She said, I got away with it. Was Wells a victim or participant? When you have a bomb off to your neck, it became a diabolical game to them.